Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the heart excitability. The heart is an excitable tissue capable of generating and responding to electrical signals. The heart contains cells that generate spontaneously action potentials. <clears throat> These cells are called pacemaker cells. They form slow responses of action potentials. And this characteristic is called automaticity of the heart. Okay. And the heart also has a working myocardium. which responds to electrical stimuli and forms a fast response action potential. Okay, which forms the contraction. Now we're going to draw a small graph to show the difference between a slow response of action potential and a fast response action potential. The graph is going to have vertically the membrane potential. which is measured in millivolts and horizontally we're going to have the time measured in milliseconds okay so this will be the slow response of action potential For a slow action potential response, as we know it starts from negative 100 Okay, for a slow response, it starts like this And it doesn't have a straight line, it's curved It's like this. This is an example of the sinoatrial node, action potential.
this is an example of a slow response. Also, a slow response will be an example of the atrioventricular node. Which is going to have the same This is the atrioventricular node. So this was an example of the slow response for an action potential. Now we're going to show you the fast response. For the fast response action potential, we're going to draw the graph. The first response has a straight line. Over here. This shows that it's a fast response. This is an example of the His bundle. This is a fast response. Another example of the fast response is going to be the Purkinje fibers. It also has the same way over here, which is a fast response. So this was the heart excitability. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.